What's up everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your Divi primary and secondary menus transparent. And the trick is, I'm gonna show you how to do this on just the home page. So we're gonna come up with this look to where you can see the menu structure in Divi here. I have my menu items with icons here, and it's pretty clear that I have a top menu. But here's the kicker, watch as we scroll down all the colors of the original menu design will then pop up. And then when I scroll back up, they go back to transparent. And the cool thing about this is if we go to another page, the full menu colors with the original design will be intact. So only the home page has these transparent effects on it. Now I have had clients ask about doing this in the past, which is why I created this tutorial, because it's not something that you can do out of the box in Divi, and it's not something you can do with additional plugins very easily. So knowing how to do this with this method, I think is really gonna help you out. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so here's our original design. You can see our header has a background color of kind of this dark blue, and then the secondary menu or the top header actually has the exact same color as the background. And then this is actually, this green bar is based off of a previous tutorial on a design where we created this kind of cool bar that has all these menu items in it. So I'll make sure I post that tutorial below. But let's pretend like the client says, hey, on the home page, I'd like to have the menu transparent so you can see the image behind it. I say that because I have had clients ask me this and they say, I just want it on the front page. So the initial thing you would think to do would be to go into your theme customizer. And if you're new to Divi, you can make a lot of these adjustments out of the box in Divi here in the theme customizer, in which case we would do this. We would go to the header navigation. You can go into the primary menu. You go to the background color where I have it set, and then you could drag the opacity down to zero. We could do the same thing for the top menu. We could go into the secondary menu bar, go to the background, drag that all down. And then if we wanted to retain those colors, when we scroll down, you can go into the fixed navigation settings and it does give you an option to have both of the colors there where we could set those. And that's how we have it set right now. Actually, looks like I didn't, tick, didn't take, let's try that again. And there we go, you can see those colors look good. Now here's the problem, let's go ahead and save this. The problem is, since we're using this design based on my previous tutorial, we have this green bar up here, which looks great, but remember the client didn't want that. They wanted the background image to show completely through all the way. And then the other issue here is if we click onto a different page, watch this, whoa, the menu gets completely lost because we're not using the Divi Builder and because we don't have a layout where there's a dark background image up at the top, all of this gets exposed and this, is, this has been a big issue on numerous sites in the past for me, which is why I go about it with this method. And you'll probably see this pop up too, to where if you have maybe a 404 page or maybe a, like a, a post of a blog post where maybe your client is using just the generic blog post editor and they're not using the Divi Builder, this can happen all the time when you make those settings. Those settings in the theme customizer are global. So. What we wanna do is apply this just to the front page. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and we are gonna use just a little bit of CSS, which is why it is so important to know CSS, guys. No matter how advanced Divi gets with the options, no matter how many plugins there are, you are going to know, need to know CSS to customize your website. So just as a reminder, I do have a course dedicated to learning CSS with Divi. Check it out, there's a promo code below. You can get plugged in with that so I can help you customize sites like this. Now. Without further ado, let's do this thing. So let's go ahead and go back into the theme customizer. And let me let me put those settings back to the way we had them. I just wanted to show you that when you apply those settings in the settings here, that it is going to take across the site. As of now, there's no way to make these settings just go to the front page. Although you watch, I'll probably post this tutorial and that'll probably be in the next Divi theme update. But regardless, it's good to know how to do this. So let's go ahead and publish that now. Again, we wanna apply this stuff just to the front page. So what I'm gonna do is the first, first thing I wanna do, if you're not familiar with customizing things with CSS is we're gonna use inspect element and I wanna target these two sections. So I know just because I've been customizing sites for a while that the main header has an ID of main header and you can see that right here. When I put that color in the theme customizer, it created a background color that goes right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna drag this all the way down. Now you'll notice it goes white, that's because it's exposing the site background and it's not bringing this section up above it. But no worries, I'm gonna show you how to tweak that. So what I'm gonna do is take this entire 
section of code right here. And I'm gonna show you where we're gonna place this. Now this would normally go in your style sheet for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just gonna go into my theme customizer. That way we can see it live. And we're actually gonna do this live so you can see all this. So it's not gonna look super clean, but you can place all your additional CSS here. And then uh, you can put that into your style sheet. So let's go ahead and clear some room here so we can see this live. Okay, so now let's look at that code one more time before we go ahead and start making some changes on this here. So let's inspect element. And again, the primary menu is under the menu ID of main header. So what I'm actually gonna do is there's a lot of different things you're seeing here that are under main header. I'm actually just going to pull the ID of main header just to clean up this code a little bit. We're gonna put that. And then we're going to do a background color of that transparency. So let's take all the background color that's transparent and let's make sure we have our symbols all correctly in CSS and there we go. Now, if this doesn't take for some reason, you may like right now, that's being overwritten by that, you may need to put important right here. So important and let's close that off and there we go. Now, again, we just want to apply that to the front page. So here it is. Here's the most important part of the, the tutorial guys. Here's the kicker. If you add dot home, that will just apply to anything on the home page. So you can do a class of home and write any CSS and it will just apply on the home page. So I could do that with sections, I could do that with IDs or classes, I could do that with text or headings. It's a really handy feature. I don't remember how I found out about that, but it's just a little selector to where, again, dot home will change any of this strictly on the home page. So we're already off to a good start. We will fix this little issue right here with the white here shortly, but let's do the same thing to the top header and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna find the top header. Same thing here. Let's just take the top header and no additional code, but you guessed it, we're gonna make sure we do home. And as I point out in my CSS course, you wanna make sure you do add a space in between there um, because this is saying any top header that's within the home class will have this effect. Let's add our brackets and then let's take our background color and we're gonna take that down to zero. But again, we've gotta worry about that background image as well, which we will do here. So let's take that and you know, I've adjusted the code in the inspect element editor, but just for, for measure, we'll put important here just to make sure this does in fact take. And then the last thing we need to do, as you can see right here, there's this background image. Now there's a few different ways I could take this out, <clears throat> excuse me, for right now. I'm just gonna do background image and I'll say none. So we'll do background image. I'll just say none, which will take that out. And you can see that did in fact take it out live. So looking good. However, it's all white. It's showing the complete background of the site because this section below it is not going above. So what I generally do in this case is I'll try to find where that padding is coming from. When you adjust it in the theme customizer, it does it automatically. But again, you run into the issue with other pages and other things you can't do with the Divi uh, the customizer. So what I like to do is I found this right here. There's an ID of page container and look at that. There's a padding top of 111 pixels. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll replicate that in here and we're gonna do it again, just on the home page. And we are gonna take this ID of, oops, let's find it, of page container. Remember IDs have a pound sign there. And then what we'll wanna do is we wanna add that padding, but instead of padding top 111, let's do padding top, make sure we spell it right, and let's do zero. And it didn't take, so let's try important, which should overwrite what's in place. And look at that, guys. Just with three lines of CSS, we have taken and we customized only the home page to have a completely transparent menu. Now. Let's pretend like we want to do this on scroll. You know what, and actually before we do the scroll, the fix nav, um, Divi automatically has a box shadow on the menu. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but there's a slight shadow. Let's just get rid of that, shall we? I found the box shadow under main menu, and let's just bring this down to zero altogether. We'll take that and let's throw that right here in our main menu so there's no shadow, okay. Looking good. Now, let's go ahead and publish this and see where we're at, just to kind of get our bearings here. So what we've done in short is we've taken the main menu 
and we made it transparent. We made the top menu transparent. We got rid of the green and we got rid of that little drop shadow and we pulled this section above. We took the padding out. That way that in fact does look good. And then now check this out. We go to about us, all is normal. Because we added that little dot home that just supplies to the home page, we're good to go. Now the issue here though is again, well, if we wanted to have the colors when we scroll down, we need to make sure we add that in. So that's what we're gonna do next. Oh, but before I even do that, I do wanna show you that when you do this effect, it does work on mobile. How cool is that? So you may just need to adjust the sections below, like the modules that you're using, but this does go transparent on mobile and tablet, which is a really cool effect as well. So let's go back to our theme customizer and let me show you what we're gonna do here. So we wanna put those colors back in. So the thing here, and the first time I did this, I remember I was like, okay, how do I wanna go about this? Because we could go in here, but any settings here, again, are gonna overwrite and we don't wanna affect anything on the other pages. So what I like to do in this case is if we scroll down, let's go ahead and inspect element and we are going to pull open our code and the additional CSS. Again, it's ideal to put this in your actual child theme uh, style sheet so it just looks a little cleaner, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll keep it here. So you'll notice, watch this, let's, um, let's just take a look at the menu here. This is good to know for reference anyway, that if you're on the main menu, for example, watch what happens to the code here when we scroll down. There is a new class that was just added. It's called ET Fixed Header. When you add that, um, that happens when there's a fixed menu in place. So you can see here, the fixed header menu has a, a class and an ID. Now, this is being overwritten because I have the, uh, the classes I just added. So what I like to do in this case is take right here, this class right here, and actually, let's try it out right here. Let's put important after this, which should overwrite what I had put there now, even with important, that didn't overwrite yet, but watch this. If we take this and we add again that home tag, let's start with home, and let's add this in there. Now it works because this is now overriding what I had set in there previously. And then we can do the same thing for the top bar too. Let's find out uh, our top header, yep, right there. Let's add our important. Same thing, not gonna work yet until we put home in front of it, just to rewrite the code that we had previously. And there we go. Now there's one last thing that we need to do and that's that green image there. And as I mentioned, we did this in a previous tutorial where I added that whole green bar because again, when we scroll down, we want that green bar to appear in the fixed menu. So what I'm gonna do is go back up and I'm gonna find that. Uh, where did I put that? Let's see here, oh, here we go. Top header, background image is this. So I'm gonna take the entire code where that green bar was, and we are going to apply that where? You guessed it, in the uh, fixed header home when you scroll down. So now, with that code in there, let's zoom back up and check that out. The effect that I showed you at the start is all in place. So let's go ahead and publish this real quick, and I'll walk you through what we did there because we are all set, guys. So now, the entire primary menu and secondary menu is transparent. When we scroll down, all the colors come back into place, including that customized green bar with the top menu items. And then if we go to say the About Us page, all is well. The menu items are all in there. We don't need to worry about the transparent uh, effects that we made affecting the page if we're not using the Divi Builder and don't have a background image there. And then we're all set. So. Just to wrap up really quickly, what we did is we went to the theme customizer. Again, ideally you'd put your CSS in your child theme style sheet, just to make it a little cleaner, but I wanted to show you this so you could see it live. So what we did was, again, the biggest point about this tutorial is that by adding dot home, that will affect all of the CSS with just the home page. And again, you can apply this to text, headings, any element you want to, and it will just affect the home page, which is really cool. So we targeted the main header and we uh, took out the transparency, we made it transparent. We did the same thing with the top header and we took out that background image. And then we made the page container have a padding top of zero. So it picks everything and pulls it up. And then what we did is made sure that we took the class where we had fixed header 
and added that after home. And then we put those colors back in with CSS so that the home page looks good. Every, all the other pages are controlled with the theme customizer. And guys, you are good to go. I will say the only thing about this that has um, some cons to it is when you're using the visual builder, sometimes when you mess with the padding, um, that will pull the visual builder under elements. So um, you might be a little bit worried about that, but I haven't had it been a big issue. So again, this is the effect. This is why it's so important to know CSS. So if you'd like to know how to do things like this and really customize your site, check out my course, grab the POMO code below for a little discount to get involved with that. And I will show you how to make websites awesome with Divi and custom CSS. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you guys next time on another tutorial.